I think my experience was I came, I was burnt out. I was like stressed. I felt like I was out of alignment with my, um, my human design, but also like, I was just out of alignment with a lot of things. And I was feeling that out of alignment. And so much so like, I have this like board here it's been up since, I don't know, probably March or April. And it says, um, like alignment, correct position, this alignment, incorrect position. I'm supported. I know what to do. How can I show up in my greatness? I am changing. I'm different. Like that was like something that I would look at every single day and I, and I felt it and I knew it. And it took me like acknowledging it to be like, okay, like I, I'm ready to, to change it. Um, knowing that that was scary for me to like click back into alignment to where I was and where I can, like, that's scary because I do know that I have a, a powerful message. I do know that I do powerful work. I do know that it's, um, yeah, going to be big. Like I know that and that was scary. It was really scary. And so I think I, I have stayed confused and like played small because that was safer and coming to you and being held in love and support and just being like, man, this is, yeah, like, let's just get you let's get you supported in these containers that felt like, okay. Cause I'd built these spaces I had built this intuitively. And I knew that there was a connection. I just couldn't see how to put it together. And so coming and building the marketing system has just been like, now I get it. Now I see it. Now I can flow it. Now I've tested it. And I think the things I'm most excited about is not taking the things personally anymore because I'm like, well, okay, next time we'll get it. You know, like it's gonna, I'll just patiently wait. <laughs> and um, yeah, feeling supported in my business. It like clicked in place to like everything that we're doing is like, don't do more, Megan, actually do less and utilize what you've already done. And that I think I always thought it was very, uh, I took that very literal like go and find the posts and go and do the posts and giving myself permission to be like, just, it doesn't have to be the exact same post, but just the themes, like you don't need to do more, actually do less and just repackage what you've done and revisit what you've already done. It's just a long-winded version, I guess to say like, I'm coming out of this six months with you, exactly what I needed when I came in to the six months with you, which is that repeatable plan that like, let's me just take a deep breath. Sales went, um, I think again, the, the number of sales, like I'm bringing now in consistently, um, two to 3000, which is more than even this past year. And I think consistently, and that feels exciting for me because I've been like struggling. I haven't even been really showing up. It's just been like happenstance um, because that hasn't been where my focus is, but I'm really excited to now push to like the 10 K consistent mark. Like that mm -hmm. feels achievable, reachable, not activating, not even hard. Um, and that feels like even in this past week, being able to see the sales numbers tick up and like this, the sales volume tick up feels exciting because now just incorporating, like, like I said, like the daily sales is exciting for me. It feels like something that felt like really heavy. Like I had to go all in on this launch. I had to go all in. So that's like what I used to do is like have zero sales, but then have these like big bursts of sales. And then like, when I was like, okay, well, I'm not going to do these big launches again. Then the sales went to zero because then I was like, I don't even know how to sell outside of these big pushes. Um, and so even to say like, now I'm bringing in consistent revenue that feels like, mm, okay, now, now it's starting to think of like, how can we boost the monthly sales to then impact the quarterly sales that will impact the yearly sales. And that to me has been something that I've been like really trying to figure out how to do. And I was still taking this approach of like the big launch mindset into these monthly things versus being like, no, it's going to be an everyday push an everyday, um, invitation and everyday 
reminder because it's going to take seven times for them to see it before they finally buy it. So like, Megan, how can you infiltrate them in seven different ways? So I thought that this was going to be more like, not, um, I mean, I knew you, I knew like you, your gifts and, and what you brought in. Um, I thought it still was going to be more like worksheets and exercises and ideal client <laughs> and like more of that. Yes. Um, because in other coaching spaces, like that's kind of what I've had and like, even in do it yourself places, but also in like one-on-one sessions. Like I never really went all in with one person to this level for this amount of time. And that I think really gave me space. It gave me space to like go high and go low and come back to neutral um, where that I don't think I had ever given that gift to myself to be held in that space. It makes a big difference. It's it really does. It's having somebody there to support you. So you know what it's like to be high and low that helps you create your baseline. So I just want to thank you for letting me be a part of this whole journey, like getting to know you even better, which I already loved you to begin with, but (laughs) like getting to know you um and to see and talk to you every week and just it makes me so happy to just be a part of this and see you get so many big wins because mm-hmm. I do believe in what you're doing and I know that you're creating a huge impact in the world and so it's my little way of being part of your org chart right like <laughs> to be a little part of that and yeah I appreciate I th- it this year you know like I said like this year's word was support and I think um when I reflect back I'm gonna get emotional when I think about reflecting back I don't think I realized how unsupported I felt not not only just like unsupported in like I had people around me trying to support me but I don't think I was giving myself um like I had this vision like when I was doing support I was like oh my gosh this is gonna be scary because support means like you have to let go like you have to fall you have to release you have to look I just kept having this vision of like trapeze and like the net below and like you have to let go to be supported and I think in the past when I like would let go it would be met with like oh yeah you shouldn't have done that or hey next time don't do that and it felt like unsafe to be supported and I feel like in this past six months not only like have I felt support in my marriage with my husband now like stepping up and seeing things like being supported now in my business being supported now in my community it feels like truly like again fucking let go and like people are stepping up into the the plate to hold me where I need to be this lens of support has just been letting me be poured into at like a soul level so that like I can let go I can like like off the brakes I can drop the e-brake I can like go forward and that's exciting for me like that's exciting to think about um like next 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 year's words of invitations and next year's like embodying that feels like I have achieved my embodiment of support and like what it means to be support and like this year long exercise of support. And like, yeah, you were a huge part of it for six months. You're a part of that support. And it makes me proud of myself. Um, and it makes me excited 